division of fractions findings after the need analysis of learners most learners perform division of fractions without understanding the explanations behind the method employed they therefore learn by roots lesson objectives by the end of this lesson the people will be able to divide whole numbers by fractions divide fractions by other fractions generalize on the rule for dividing fractions relevant previous knowledge people already know that fractions are parts of wholes people also know the various ways of representing fractions such as proper fractional representation example 2 out of 5 improper fractional representation example 7 out of 2 and the mixed fractional representation example 10 whole number 2 out of 3 people can identify the dividends the divisor and the quotient in division problems explanation of division division involves equal sharing of items or a number consider dividing six mangoes among two children one named kakra and the other named penny now distributing the mangoes one by one to each child now we have one for painting, one for kakra, one for painting again, another for kakra. We have two mangoes left, then we give one again to painting, then the last one to kakra. You realize that each child has three mangoes. Hence, we can conclude that. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Dividing whole numbers by fractions. Illustrative example 1. Consider the problem 2 divided by 1 out of 4 or 1 fourth. This is the same as saying how many 1 fourths are in 2 holes. Answering the question 2 divided by 1 out of 4. Representing 2 holes for the number 2 and dividing both holes into 4 equal parts. Note that each part represents 1 out of 4 since 4 1 fourths add up to 1 whole. Now, let us count the number of one-fourths that are found in our diagrams. In accounting, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hence, there are eight one-fourths in two holes, which answers our question therefore 2 divided by 1 out of 4 gives us the answer 8 the algebraic approach the problem can be written as 2 divided by 1 out of 4 equal to n where n is the answer this can also be written as n times 1 out of 4 equal to since it is our quest to find out the number of times one-fourth can actually fit in the number two. This implies that one over four n gives us two. Now I am multiplying four 
by both sides of the equation 4 cancels out 4 at the left hand side resulting to the answer n is equal to 8 therefore 2 divided by 1 over 4 is equal to 8 dividing fractions by other fractions illustrative example 2 Consider the problem below. 3 over 4 divided by 1 over 4. This is the same as how many 1 fourths are in 3 fourths. Answering the question 3 over 4 divided by 1 over 4. Again, picking a hole or a rectangle and dividing it into 4 equal parts, you already know that each part is actually 1 out of 4. So, and you also know that 3 1 fourths add up to 3 out of 4. So, let's count the part that represents 3 out of 4. We have 1, 2, 3, and of course, the last one, we cancel it. So, the parts we counted actually sum up to 3 out of 4. How many one fourths did you count? It's obvious. Three. Hence, there are three one fourths in three out of four, which answers our question. Therefore, three out of four divided by one out of four is equal to three. The problem can be rewritten as three out of four divided by one out of four giving us the answer n, where n is the answer. This can also be written as n times 1 out of 4 is equal to 3 out of 4, implying that 1 out of 4n is equal to 3 out of 4. Multiplying the reciprocal of the divisor by both sides of the equation, the 4 cancels out the 4 at the left hand side of the equation. And the 4 cancels out 4 at the right hand side of the equation. Simplify to the answer n is equal to 3. Therefore, 3 out of 4 divided by 1 out of 4 is equal to 3. Generalization. In division involving two fractions, multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor to obtain the result. Thus, 3 out of 4 divided by 1 out of 4 is equal to 3 out of 4 multiplied by 4 on 1, which should simplify to the answer 3. Evaluation Solve the following problems. Well done and thank you for your time. See you again next time. Goodbye.